Gospodin Milošević se brani onako kako sam vam juče rekao da će se braniti, kao što ste čuli, ako ste slušali, čak i onaj deo koji se čuo i onaj deo koji se slabije čuo. On je ostao dosledan, on je rekao da ne priznaje Haški tribunal, rekao da je to lažni sud, da su to lažne optužbe, rekao je da on... Zna zašto je taj tribunal osnovan, da je on osnovan upravo da bi prikrio zločine NATO pakta koji su učinjeni na teritoriji Savjeza Republike Jugoslavije. Svi ste slušali delove njegove odbrane i ne bih imao šta drugo da vam komentarišem. Danas u dva sata idem kod njega, nakon toga mogu eventualno da vas obavestim. But you're a lawyer, are you convinced he's doing the right thing? Are you convinced he's doing the right thing? Ja sam... Can you speak to me in English? Yes, I was sitting in public, not as a judge, but as a judge. In public, as I said before. A word in English. We have a word in English. Are you convinced? Well, the panel of judges asked Mr. Milosevic to enter a plea to the charges contained in the indictment against him. Uh, he failed to do so uh, and uh, indicated that he was not willing to enter a plea. So the trial chamber entered a plea of not guilty on his behalf. We're now into the pre-trial uh, phase of the process. That means that the prosecution will have to disclose uh, to Mr. Milosevic and we hope a defense team uh, all of the materials, all of the evidence that support the charges in the indictment against him. He will then have a chance to study those, uh, that evidence and begin to build a case for his defense against the prosecution's charges. What's the court's opinion on uh, whatever Milosevic was trying to say in the court on his way of speaking to uh, We don't really have much of an opinion. If he wants to file motions challenging the jurisdiction of the tribunal or challenging its establishment and the legality of its establishment, um, the appropriate time to do so is in the pre-trial phase, not at the initial appearance. The initial appearance is a formality uh, where he's asked to enter a plea. I think first and foremost it was a historic day uh, in the courtroom uh, to see a man who a few short months ago was head of state brought before an international court charged with war crimes and crimes against humanity is a very significant development. It's a victory for those victimized by these crimes across the former Yugoslavia. I think what we saw in the courtroom was a defendant who was afforded the guarantees and protections of fair trial to which he is entitled as any other defendant is. The judge asked him if he wanted the charges of the indictment read out to him. The judge asked him if he wanted to be represented by counsel. The judge asked him if he wanted to enter a plea in regard to the counts in the indictment. Mr. Milosevic decided not to avail himself of that opportunity. I think what we saw was the court functioning according to law and its rules of procedure. I think we saw a defendant uh, who uh, has yet to come to grips with uh, uh, his actual situation as an, a defendant before an international court facing very serious charges.